today. I just felt like doing this. I think it was time to change them. This is my new one. It was supposed to look like this. Mine was actually worn apart in the middle, two pieces. Just goes to show how good these snowmobiles steer. I knew I was starting to, I figured they were worn down a little bit, but I mean, they're virtually gone. And it still function perfectly, you know. Just not as responsive on the turns, but imagine what it'd be like now. The Skidoo Company can thank me for that little plug. Just in case you wonder why I put that log, or piece of wood up under the middle, it just raises her up and it makes her nice and easy to lift up on each side. But it don't happen every time. That's my first snare. And I can see I got a rabbit there already. Oh, not even froze. It was a real cold night last night. And that's good because uh, I don't, I can uh, cook them right away. There we go. Beautiful rabbit. Thank you, nature. One for the rotisserie. The snare don't look too bad, so I think I'll just reset it. See, I don't think he was in there very long, which is good. I don't want a rabbit to be in there long. The sun is just poking through the trees up there now. So it was a bit of a snowy day. We had a little snow last night too. That's better uh, conditions for catching rabbits too. Well, I'm uh, my fourth snare in. And another rabbit. I don't normally do this good at all. This one's not, this one's warm as well, look. Again, it was a really nice warm night last night. I think it was minus two or something like that. So it wasn't long enough for anything to freeze. Now this snare is no good to use again. I don't know if you can see that, all those little kinks there along the, along the snare, right there. You could never use that again and trust it. So I got 12 snares out. I was hoping to catch one, maybe over a three or four day period, but I'm looking out this morning. And again, the conditions were just right last night. I think a little bit of snow cool off a little bit I guess when it's a snowy night like that the rabbits can't see the can't see the snare the same as a real moonlit night and we got some snow coming a little bit of snow coming tonight and tomorrow so rabbits usually feed pretty hard 
before any sort of a, a storm, you'll always see way more rabbit tracks just before a snowfall. Because they sense more than what we do. We often don't give them enough credit. Number three, what a night, what a night, what a night. Well, I soon have enough to bottle up. So I brought along my sled today with my box extension. I'm gonna cut some huge uh, juniper, um, or tamarack, larch, sorry, Tina, castle. So I'm gonna cut some large uh, tamarack like this today. And so the logs are just too heavy really to handle. So I'll junk them up, throw them in the sleigh. This stuff is dead or mostly dead. It's probably about uh, 12, 14 inches in the butt. It's one of the most underrated woods for burning actually. It's uh, very close to birch and it's uh, in the heat it gives off. So I'll save that for those minus 40 nights. And my YouTube friend uh, Norm from True North Living, check out his channel, is awesome. Uh, he was having trouble with his box extension. He built one like this. I put those uh, nice thick metal brackets on when I built mine. And, and up until now, I've had no issues, thankfully. Uh, some dandy wood there. And if you look at a couple of those junk tonight, that's about a week's burning just for the night time you know got your stove night time let her coast along this is a new stove i got Don't touch. It's a bit of a windy, chilly day, but uh, I built these walls off a bit there, so it'll be nice. It's actually very, very hot in there, so. I've never tried this before. It's gonna be a first for me. I've had rabbit over a fire before, but thought I'd get all fancy with this uh, rotisserie thing to try it today. Maybe cook other things like it, you know? I had one more rabbit this morning in my snares, and probably if I got eight or 10 rabbits, so I'd uh, probably, bottle some up or whatever so this is a good way to spend an hour or so here now just picking at this uh i got a little more snow to clear we had about eight or ten inches of snow last night and i got lots of uh, juniper wood to split up i got the other day so i'll just keep a close eye to this and uh enjoy some rabbit later on i'm sure it'll be tough <laughs> rabbit meat usually is tough like this
plan is to fill up this tent with this green tamarack. And this tent here is the one where I'm cutting all that stuff that was burnt years back in the forest fire. So this is nice dry wood. But this stuff will be good for like minus 40 nights because that juniper, sorry, tamarack burns very, very hot. another couple of big sleigh loads like that before. I can't explain it but there's always a satisfying feeling when your wood sheds are full. I guess it's comfort I suppose but you guys have got wood sheds and burn wood. You know what I mean? Rabbit starting to look off the wood. I think it's time to put a bit of butter glaze on that now. Now I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder on that, and this so I got my salt, spices, and pepper type things. So it needs a little bit of sweetness to it. So I will put a little bit of barbecue sauce there. Not a whole lot, just enough to give it a little sweetness. It's just about time now to take it off. As I said, rabbit done this way is really tough. It's almost like a jerky texture, but uh, really tasty. And I kind of like that. And you want to make rabbit soup or rabbit stew of course the meat will fall right off the bones and it's delicious like that too but today i just felt like doing this it's been going about an hour and a half now i don't know if you can see it or not but right about we only lost 10 percent off our blue eddy that's a small one 600 watts first came off pretty good trouble till it's cooked look at that guys let's give her a try holy cow Holy rabbit, I should say. Mm. <laughs> it tastes just like Jack Link's jerky. It is a bit tough, but not quite as tough as I thought. I mean, you just pull it right off the bones. That's, uh, that's a good sign, right? Oh. oh, and this is a winner. Bone is completely dry. Wow. I got two hungry dogs looking at me. Ah, they good, my dogs? Oh, yeah. Well, this turned out way better than I thought for a first try. I can taste the spices, the garlic, and that sweetness from the barbecue sauce. These two front legs are just appetizers. I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea in and enjoy the rest of it. Sit down. Rabbit is not seen like a delicacy to most people, but I'm telling you that we 
eat them and they're great and this is a wonderful treat for if guests comes next time i know i'll try this it'll be a cool thing to cook the next video guys i'm going to bring you up and show you a natural wonder that i found a while back i just hadn't had time to go in and film it it's something that i haven't personally seen i wonder if you guys have seen it wait till that video and until the next video take care of each other get outside and enjoy everything outdoors we'll see you next time guaranteed and we'll see you next time guaranteed get outside